we plan to lay the flowers on star girl's grave because we're upset about that because she got canceled uh and cw was like that's not the only thing we have to tell you so it's it's been quite a ride but first we're going to start with star girl because honestly considering what next star had said about ratings it's not fair that she is did not get renewed i'm tired guys i'm so tired um, here we are again. I'm pretty sure I said that last week about Nancy. And it's just like, when does this end? Is it, does it end when there's no shows left? And I mean, not to get analytical because this one feels a little more personal because you all know how much I love Stargirl. And it's just like, what, again, what went into this decision? Like, it, it, are we talking about shows performances? Like, that can't be the thing anymore here because as we'll see in the ratings game later on, Stargirl was holding her own with no promotion whatsoever up there in the top four week in, week out. And it felt to me like this was a show. It could end, have ended after its third season. And if that had been the creative decision, that would have been fine. But I feel, always felt like this show could maybe have had one or two more years and it couldn't have gone on for long because they did have the high school setting. But it could have had one or two more years left in it. And it just feels like yet another light has been snuffed out by, at the, by the CW. And it's like, when, when does it all end? It's just shady. Because like, as I said last week, there's like no transparency. We weren't given a reason why and they can't say it's ratings because as michael you just mentioned the ratings have been pretty good um it, it just sucks to see that the fans have been fighting watching the show trying to lift her up and it was all as it turned out for nothing because we thought the goalposts was in one area and they were like JK, we made that up as far as we know. And it also sucks that they left her hanging out to dry for so long. She didn't get to premiere like earlier. They left her out to kick off fall earlier than traditional, traditionally. And, and this is how it ends. No, nothing makes sense for this particular cancellation. It doesn't, because if on the night ratings were as important as they seem to be made out to be in every article that was coming out about the CW, Star Girls in the number three spot, like, um, like um, three and four going back and forth, right? So like you have, yes, everyone's talking about Walker and, and Walker Independence and the Winchesters, but Star Girls been up there with them. Like, and that is a lot to do with the fans rallying and getting information out to everybody. When she dipped sharply, they were like, look, y'all need to turn your TVs on. I don't care if you're not in the room, turn it on. <laughs> like, and they were streaming next day too. So it's just like, I've actually, I don't think I've seen a show rally, like fans rally like this in this capacity, as far as the beginning of the season in the middle and as we're heading towards the end in the way that they've increased the viewership by so much because they know, they knew how much it was important. And now it feels like it wasn't like um, that that didn't factor into the star girl decision. And like you said, Reed, there isn't transparency, which then, you know, makes people have like different theories. Like, did you already know you were going to um, sunset star girl? If you did know that, why didn't you just say that at the beginning of the season? Like, why is it why are they halfway through nearing their end? And now everybody is is learning that they canceled it. That's what stresses me out, because then you see fandoms coming drawing their own conclusions based on whether it's conjecture or what they've heard from certain quotes and it just it creates this environment of nobody knows what's going on so everyone just has their own opinions and beliefs about this thing that happened when they the cw could so easily be like oh it was about money i'm just throwing that out there that's not really what they said um but even if they did say that, they have to explain why, because it, you're not you're talking to a fandom that has been burned, so they're not going to be as accepting to these exp explanations that they don't understand. But I would still rather be in that boat than to have fans just be like chasing their tails on Twitter, arguing with each other, and trying to figure out and and understand why that this why this happened to them. I think the issue too is that part of this feels like a DC Airverse problem with the CW. Um, 
because DCTV on that network seems to be up in the air about the direction that they want to take. And this is my personal thoughts. So like take this with that in mind, but I'm just like, are we sunsetting the Arrowverse? And that's, and that is why she's gone. Like she too was still only tangentially connected to it, but, and she's not even a really a veteran show, but she's, she, she was in season three. So we're just gonna say she, she's a show that's been on <laughs> with the rest of the Arrowverse. Uh, so if they are doing that and we're just leaving Superman and Lois, which that's another show people are panicking about right now. Um, does that mean that the like next are just wants their own brand of DC? Like, and so they don't want any shows that came from the previous era with perhaps the exception to Superman and Lois because everything else that's coming, there's Gotham Knights and then if Justice U gets picked up, those will be their shows. They will not be the previous regime. Yeah, and that's quite troubling, but I feel like that also makes sense because Superman and Lois was the one that publicly divorced itself from the Arrowverse, whereas the Stargirl reference in Crisis on Infinite Earths before the show even began made it clear that the show was somewhat tied to it, whereas Superman and Lois has kind of done the opposite now. And I, I do, I get it in theory because the universe is dying, but it's this network that killed the universe. So again, are they to blame for it? It's just, it, 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 you're right. You're, you guys are totally right when you said there's been no transparency. There's nothing, you, there's no like one path or theory school of thought to follow here. It could be any number of reasons, but they haven't been pretty clear about any of them. They said that on the night ratings are important. So the fans came out and gave it its, uh, gave the show its most watched, I think second most watched episode ever or of the season last week. It's up there with Walker and Independence and the Winchesters last week. These shows that had mountains of promo for the CW behind them, Stargirl had none, and yet it was still holding its own with that viewership. So there was so much going into it and fans took that on board. They listened to it and they came out. If you look, if you live tweet with all of the CW shows, you'll see the Stargirl fandom is one of the more active ones during the week. So they did everything they were told. They did, they, they foresaw this coming. And now the report suggests that the season was, the season was, they were told before the season ended to give, and Jeff Johns, Breck Bassinger confirmed that Jeff Johns has filmed two endings. So I assume we'll be getting the more definitive one now. So they knew that, but did they know that back in March when they were filming because of the original CW call where all the shows didn't make it? Or did they know that because regardless of whether the show survived the CW call, which it did, it would be the final season anyway. It's still very confusing. And even if they did want to promote the show as part of their lineup and didn't want to promote it as the final season in case fans didn't tune in, why wait until eight episodes in to make that announcement? Why wait until the show gets its one of its audience highs to make that announcement? Why now? You know what I mean? I know Nextar have just all just taken over within the last month, but it feels like w- even more than that, why after the show won a Saturn Award? Why now? It feels like everything that was working in the show's favor that should have gotten it a new season suddenly just came right before it was canceled or final season or ended, whatever you want to call that. But this 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 show was a holdover from last season. It should have aired last season. The cast were holding on for updates and announcements. So why did they wait for it to almost complete its whole season to make this announcement if by the reports it looks like the decision had been made already? Honestly, it seems janky. <laughs> like it's just this whole rollout um, has been a mess. Um, it's just chaos everywhere. And it is because of lack of transparency. And it doesn't seem to, well, that's not true. It has been, it has improved, but that is because of Brad Swartz, who we'll talk about soon. Um, but I don't even know what else to say about Star Girl besides, of course, like happy that this show is going to get what is hopefully a satisfactory ending, because that's the other issue of um, the top-down decision to give all the shows a heads up um, that they could not go forward for another, they may not go forward with another season, was that wondering how far into their seasons were they before they got that news. Some I know hadn't been, weren't too far, were they were like maybe in the middle, so they were, they had enough episodes, and I think others were like two to three episodes away from the finale. So I'm just like wondering where Stargirl fell with that. Like, and how, how, how much of the ties are they going to be able to tie, like the loose ends, are they going to be able to tie up in the amount of time that they may have been given, which seems like it was probably towards the end of their season in the first place, but we don't know because no transparency. 
Yeah. It's going to be an interesting one because we have seen how it's impacted shows already. You have a show like Batwoman that was pretty much just finished out its season, but nonetheless, given some of the endings we got from all the other shows, that was pretty satisfactory. Then you have a show like Dynasty where you can almost see where the writing flipped towards writing towards a series finale instead of a season finale. Will Stargirl land in the middle? I will say in the show's defense, it always completely wraps up its storylines with a neat little bow and just leaves a small teaser at the end to make you want to tune into the next season. I feel like it'll do the same again, only without the small teaser now. So hopefully all things considered, that should be a satisfactory ending. As a fan of the show, I hope it is a satisfactory ending. I do trust the people or the cast, the crew and everyone who said we will get a satisfactory ending so far. So I can only hope. It's just I... I do. I feel for everyone involved except the CW because they clearly made this decision. That's true. The um, though you all should should know, it didn't seem like it was going to get shocked, which is why we are speaking in um, final terms because it would have came up in the news um, in any of the comments. Though I'm hoping that since they did want to put Star Girl in the DCEU, that Brett gets to don her costume again, or you know, an updated one for the movies. Who knows? <laughs> um, and she gets to um, she gets to step into the sh- her shoes again. Oh, I love that. I mean, we know she's going to re- re- uh, play the role on Titans next season or this season, but I believe it will be in the second half of the season next year. So, I mean, it'll be great that after Stargirl ends, we will see Breck in the act for at least one more time. But I mean, like Courtney Whitmore's story just felt like it was getting started. So I don't think you'll find a more definitive Stargirl. So I hope that we do get to see her play the role again. And I mean, with the Justice Society of America making their debut in the DCEU on the big screen, Black Adam sequel, bring Stargirl in. This is your chance now. Do it right. Yes, fingers crossed. 